everybody and welcome to uh, <laughs> hi everybody and welcome to Capricorn van life I am van I am coming to you today with a personal hygiene must have uh, in van life uh, so these are the things that I must have and keep with me in van life if you have different items something that i do not mention uh make sure you leave it in the comments bar below because it might be something that i just overlooked or something that i don't know about that i need in my life so make sure you leave your suggestions in the comments as well so all of us can learn from this experience so these are personal hygiene items that i and we all should be using in our everyday life but even more so in van life we want to make sure we're having in that small compact space things that are going to enable us to be able to stay fresh to be able to stay clean and to be able to stay hygiene so the first thing is mouthwash sometimes when you first wake up in the morning you just want to get rid of uh, that morning breath so yeah you need some mouthwash another thing that I find for a female which you know men need this too but females need it more than men uh, is I love this pre-absorbed liquid iron it is so good you guys and you take it on the empty stomach and I'm actually gonna take one right now and all you do is you just open it up just like that put it in your mouth and swallow and voila you got your iron for the day you only need to take one package of those every single day in the box you can get from Walmart or CVS it's like a 30 day supply uh, you need to make sure you have some floss with you on those days when you're bored and you don't know what to do floss okay floss and not the dance how they do that dance floss I'm not talking about that floss I'm talking about flossing and you always want to make sure you have some lotion with you this is gold bond ultimate healing with aloe vera lotion y'all I need some of everything that I'm using my hands are dry and the reason why I like this lotion right here is because it is very thick and nourishing so yeah I have a lot of these little sample uh, sizes so you can take advantage of that and another thing that I find that I need to always make sure I have an extra some extra ones of these or tooth brushes because Sometimes, for some reason or another, you misplace your toothbrushes. Sometimes, when you go take a shower and uh, at a truck stop or something, you might forget your toothbrush. So, always make sure you pack a few extra toothbrushes with you and razors. Razors for a number of reasons. We all need razors. And another one of my suggestions is going to be to buy this stuff when you go into a town where there is a big big box store like Walmart, Target or something like that buy it when you're making a stop or a pass through a big town opposed to waiting till you get in the middle of nowhere and you have to get it from a little small convenient gas station which it's going to be more expensive so always make sure you stack up on these things when you're in a town where there's a big box store you want to make sure you have your daily vitamins with you because you're living in the van life. Van life can be a little bit more harder on you, your body, mentally and physically. So you want to make sure you're staying healthy. And, you know, some people that do van life are not eating the best that they should be eating. Uh, so make sure you have some vitamins and to go alongside with that toothbrush brush make sure you have some toothpaste at all times make sure you stock up on toothpaste again this is one of the items that you may forget uh, you never know you may run into other campers who uh, 
or out of those things and they might ask you do you have a to an extra tube of toothpaste I can purchase from you or whatever so sometimes having extras is not just for your benefit it's also for the benefit of other people that might need it a roll of toilet paper y'all don't squeeze the shaman squeeze the shaman a roll of toilet paper paper like everybody needs to keep extra rolls of toilet paper on them in van life because sometimes van life calls and you are just in a rush and you just need some toilet paper my favorite item to have in van life and conventional life is v05 shampoo now let me tell you guys about shampoo shampoo especially in van life will double as your soap to bathe with and shampoo for your head so when you buy shampoo especially in inexpensive shampoo like vo5 that only costs uh at some of my local stores 79 and 89 cents sometimes 75 cents uh and sometimes there's a coupon for a dollar off of four which can bring this down to almost 50 cents a bottle so uh yeah but i have been using v05 shampoo for over 20 years to bathe with because i have sensitive skin and i cannot bathe with bar soap and one day i accidentally discovered uh bathing with shampoo and i haven't turned back at all you guys my skin doesn't itch and burn when I get out the bathtub from bathing with soap and so this doubles for shampoo for your head it doubles for uh, a bath soap when you take a bath so I suggest that you always have whatever brand shampoo that you use always have shampoo with you and that will keep you from having to buy bar soap and shampoo you can just use the shampoo as your soap something that like for me the number one thing in van life of course I need all of these things but like the number one thing for me is the VO5 and the next thing is my own face towels even though some uh, truck stops provide towels at the shower uh, I get those towels and I lay them on the floor so when I walk out the shower I can walk onto a towel but I never use those towels to wash my face or bathe with and this is exactly how I fold up my towels inside of my travel bag. I just put these in just like that and the next item up is I like to save these little jars from different foods that you may purchase. Uh, these, This is a jar of pimentos. I like to save these little jars and reuse them and this is some castor oil uh, in there that you know castor oil is a natural remedy for a whole bunch of things so if you just want to conveniently take buy larger things of stuff but have access to smaller things uh, just save these little jars and that'll keep you from going spend money on stuff don't spend money on stuff that you can recycle and reuse uh, I think having a little small compact mirror with you I don't want to blind you guys with that uh, at all times in your little travel bag is key you never know. One day you might go inside a bathroom and the mirror is broken. Uh, Q-tips. And you can easily buy a big thing of Q-tips and put them inside little Ziploc bags and fold them up and put them in your travel bag. So you must have some Q-tips with you, you guys. You can use Q-tips for a lot of things. You never know. You might get something in your eye. Uh, you never know. Another number one thing that I think all travelers should have with them in van life is CarMax. Oh my goodness. In the wintertime, when your lips get all dried out, rusty, and cracked in the summertime, 
like this is a year around essential read my lips a year around essential carmax and you guys carmax is just i know some people like chapstick and some but carmax is the best lip balm out of all the over-the-counter lip balms I do not like chapsticks. There are some other brands I do not like. Carmax, 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 Carmax. It is very nourishing. It's just, it's just good, y'all. Get some Carmax and get rid of them chap lips really fast. Uh, another essential, which I need to clean my brush out. I might as well do it now. Is a comb and a brush. No matter how much hair you have on your head, you need. A comb and a brush so make sure you carry one with you and like I say if you don't have a comb and brush make sure you buy one before you leave town at a regular big box store opposed to waiting till you get to a little small gas station where they're gonna charge an arm and a leg wet wipes you guys will come so in handy on those days when you're sitting in your van and it's scorching hot and you just need to get some dirt and some dust off of you you took a bath earlier but you're still hot and sweating and you just want to remove some of that perspiration off of your face y'all need some of these pick them up get you some and keep them close by in your van where you can always find them wet wipes um, personal hygiene essentials and these are clean you guys they are brand new they're rolled up and I roll my underwear up just like this even after I've worn them and put them in my bag or underwear you want to make sure there is especially as a female there is something that you want to make sure you have extra of is pairs of underwear where you never ever ever run out because one thing with van life you might not get to go wash that often you might go wash once a week or once every two weeks so you want to make sure you have enough pairs of underwear that you do not run out okay and again buy this and stock up at your big box stores so that way when you go on the road you and I have a hard time finding your size underwear and they won't cost you twenty dollars a pack <laughs> socks socks are very important in van life because you want to make sure you're keeping your feet clean you want to make sure you're not going to get an infection a foot infection or foot fungal you want to make sure you have clean socks to keep your feet clean and where your feet won't be getting stanky and dirty and along that line especially as a female these are brand new you guys you want to make sure you have enough bras with you because in van life you need to make sure that you're changing your bras and your panties every single day you guys every 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 single day you want to make sure you're changing these items some people like in regular life might wear their bras more than one time you can't afford to do that in van life because you're perspiring so much so make sure you're taking care of yourself um, another little helpful tip tip that I like is like these look convenient this is by liquid oxygen and this is a facial uh, skincare product and I just love this little compartment where it could keep all of my facial stuff in here and because it has so much room in here I can also add in my q-tips my Carmax and everything so you want to make sure you have something where you can keep like say for instance you were going into a um, to take a shower somewhere you want to put everything in here you need so you won't get in there and you be like Where's my toothbrush? Where's my toothpaste? So you want to make sure you have all your personal hygiene items with you when you go to go somewhere else where you're paying to take a shower. You want to, because some some of those places when you leave out, they don't let you back in. So you want to make sure you have to pay again. So you want to make sure you have everything with you at 
the same time. So you guys, those are my, oh, I forgot to mention for ladies, of course I'm a lady, so this video I have to tell the ladies, you want to make sure in van life you never run out of feminine napkins. Like, you just don't want to do that. Like, you don't want to have to leave outside your van in the middle of the night in the dark because you don't have feminine hygiene items with you. So make sure you keep enough of these with you at all times. So, I hope this video has been helpful. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments in the comment bar below. Make sure you press the subscribe button and a notification bell so you will be notified as soon as I drop a new video. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye now. Let me know what video you want me to do next. Bye now. <laughs>